Now, let's use Easy Remote I.O. to search for the IRETN devices on the network. Select the IRETN device you want to add to the Ethernet IP network. Next, go to File and choose Export Ethernet IP EDS, name of EDS file based on its IP address. Now, go to Tools, then Device Repository and select Install. Please note that you can only install one IRETN's EDS file at a time. After installing, let's add an Ethernet device. By default, the displayed device version is the latest one. Click Display All Versions to select the Ethernet device with version 3.5.15. Now, let's add an Ethernet IP scanner device. Note that WayneTech built-in CodeSys only supports version 3.5.15 of the Ethernet IP scanner. Add the first IRETN device. If you have multiple IRETN devices with the same I.O. configuration, add all devices to the device tree in this step. The installation process for subsequent IRETN devices is the same as the first one. If you need to add more IRETN devices, simply repeat the previous installation steps. To differentiate the devices, let's modify the device name of each IRETN. Since all added IRETN devices have the same name, I recommend using the IRETN's IP address or functionality for device naming. Now, let's establish a connection to the built-in code sys. The task priority of the Ethernet IP scanner is set beyond the default range. To select the network interface of the built-in code sys, go to Ethernet, then General, Browse, and choose ETH0. The default IP address of IRETN devices is 192.168.0.2, but I recommend changing it to match the actual IP address of your IRETN device. In the PLC settings, go to Always Update Variables and set it to Enable. This ensures that the I.O. is updated after login. If set to Disable as the default, the I.O. mapping of Ethernet IP will remain in a non-updated state after login. Now, let's perform a login test to ensure normal I.O. status. You can verify the Ethernet IP configuration by checking if the mapping variables in the IRETN's EO mapping.